This is the eye camera. So you take the camera and after it's been powered up for about a minute or two we need to factory default it. So on the back corner, I think it's behind here on the back side, it's a little rubber piece. You're going to hold that down for about 15 seconds. And once you let go, the light should go out and it should start rebooting. Okay. So instead of having it plugged into the home security system, have it plugged into your personal router. Okay. After you have it plugged into your router, you need to find out what the IP address is. And you go to your router, look for a device called SC. So it'll start with SC for the name. So you want to go into your router and look for connected devices. All routers should have a screen like that. Once you find a device called SC and then some letters and numbers after it, make sure the MAC address matches up the MAC address on the back of the camera. That way you know you know got the the right one. Then you're gonna type in the IP address that the router gave the camera. Okay. In my case, it gave the camera a IP address of 10.0.0.32. So we'll type it in the address bar, click go. We're going to start making our changes. So let's click administrator and username is administrator. Okay, so we're in to the settings. So we'll go through all the tabs, camera name, um, I don't test change your time zone put a check mark in daylight savings if you want options down here you have the LEDs on the front those are those two lights if you're looking at your camera right now you can shut those off okay, so now it's like stealth mode no one can see the lights let's click on network let's assign this a static IP so the IP address never changes so it's going to stay at 32 let's give it a port number so we can see it outside the house. I'll explain this in a bit. 132, I'm just going to make one up. It has to be in a range from here to here. Uh, the rest is good. Save changes. Okay, so here's one of the windows where it's not going to let you, uh, it's not going to refresh for you. So we'll just paste this back in. Administrator, we're back in. Uh, if I go back down to network you notice all my settings have been changed like I wanted alright perfect so wireless let's set up wireless so we'll click on site survey it's scanning the area for all your wireless networks right now we're hardwired in and you need that white cord that came with the camera um, to set this up you can do a WPS push button on the camera after you reset the camera to factory defaults and it comes back up, um, if you didn't have the white cord or say, you would push the WPS push button, which is the same as the reset button on the camera, you would push it for about three to five seconds. Then you would push the WPS push button on the router. Okay. When you push that, they sync together, and then you would be able to skip this whole section here. So we're going to do our Comcast network and we just need to change the password save now this should be good to basically unplug and power it back up without it being plugged into the router and we should be up and running on Wi-Fi uh, let's skip over the rest go down to video and audio click on streaming Take a check mark out of uh, streaming two and three. Set up streaming one. Uh, you have an option. I would do uh, H264. That has a better compression. And res, crank it up. And fix quality. Uh, put it on very high. If you do constant bit rate, don't go over. I don't know 1.5. It's not going to make it much of a difference. Um, and it's just gonna it's gonna drag down your uh, streaming capability it's it's a, it uses more bandwidth so 1 to 1 1.5 um, or if you're not sure just do the presets very high uh, frame rate do 25 because if you do 30 
it's really not going to make that much more of a difference but again it will use more bandwidth so 25 looks just great and then we'll click save and then we'll just wait for that to refresh there it goes video and audio good 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 everything's good mics on don't have to do anything there video access very important put a check mark in this box and you can set up schedules for certain users that you make okay now I'll click save uh, to set up users that's under users database and you can add users and give them their own password and then you can have them so they can only log in certain days certain times and that would be under video access okay motion detection skip down to there and it is not gonna let us do this it looks like um, let's try compatibility mode there we go so what I had to do now use Internet Explorer while you do this if you have Windows 10 sorry can't help you uh, so we clicked on this, this the settings here went to compatibility and I just added the address in there and I click close now it's working now it's telling me I need to install the ActiveX control so let's say install Let's try refreshing this. Still not showing me the screen. We're trying to install the decoder here. See if that works. Try refreshing this again. Okay. I'm not sure why it's not showing the screen, but basically, this should be showing what's on the camera. And I don't see anything. So let's just do full screen. So now the whole screen is motion activated. Otherwise, you can do like a window two and three and four. So you could draw a small window here maybe a window here and then those would be your hotspots those would be where they detect motion right now we're just going to do full screen just to get by here so we'll click save but you can play with it you can get it to work I've done it before so we saved it okay it looks like it's saved so to make sure we'll just go to say the email back to motion yeah so it saved it Okay, so we'll click on the email tab. So we have our email settings. Now I have a picture here below, kind of explains it a little bit. So what we have is this is the info of going out, okay? And this is where it's going to, okay? So I'm going to use the Comcast email address because it works great. Um, always sends videos out, never had an issue. Cannot get it to work with Gmail, so I gave up on it. So your SMTP server for Comcast is this, port number 587. Then you have to change this to um, SMTP authenticate that for your username and password. And then show from would be your email address. Okay, and then down here you're going to put a check mark in this email address and you're going to send the video to this email address and then put with attachment. Okay, so you fill out all that info, and I'll be right back, and I'll fill that out, and then I'm going to click Save, and then we're going to go down to Trigger Event down here. Okay, so give me one second. Okay, uh, let's see. I put my info in. Um, just don't want anybody having my personal email address in case this video is passed around. Uh, so my info is in and then I went down to event trigger 
and down here we're going to uh, we have to enable it it's right here so this is what's going to say send the video out you got motion you got your email settings if you don't do this part it's not going to do anything so enable that now this is a time in between detection so if we set this for one minute um, if it detects m motion um, within that minute it'll send another video so we can say two minutes it'll have a two minute span before it detects its next event um, I would say two minutes um, just in case you don't miss anything so um, or one minute depending on whatever it is but if you're getting false alarms this is one way to kind of knock it down um, me I usually would set it to one minute so that way um, I know I'm going to catch whatever if you have it inside and you're never getting false alarms set it for zero so that way if someone walks by it does a 30 second video clip and they're still walking around in the room it's going to keep recording 30 second video clips okay so if you don't get uh, false alarms do zero and then down here we're going to say motion and then email okay now the pre-capture is basically the camera is always buffering the video so if someone walks by it can actually start recording a few seconds before they walk by it uh, let's say three seconds that way you know you catch it and then 27 after so it gives you a total of 30 seconds per video clip okay so we click save changes Dun, dun, dun. All right. Maintenance is our next tab. This is where you're going to change the username and password. Let's just do, say, admin and password. Save. Okay. And of course, it wants me to log back in. Oops. Okay, so we're logged back in. Let's uh, view our video. So that's an ActiveX thing. I must not have ActiveX installed all the way, but there's a quick time. So, and there's a video. So now if you notice, this one's a little bit larger. I don't know if you see me previous one, um, but it's got audio. Uh, let me see if you can hear this obviously yeah I'm sure that picked up on the mic so what I did is I just tapped on the, the wall there that was holding the camera um, it's just kind of taped up there for now and if I go down here I can say mute the audio so there's no audio and the stop button totally stopped the video so it's not playing right now and I can start playing it again so that's about it. So if we were to wave our hand in front of it, that should pick up motion and that should be sending it out. Um, let me get that video clip for you and I'll play it real quick. Okay, so here's a video. Um, before I play it, this is when I knocked on it. So what happens when I knocked on the, the piece that was holding the camera up, it shook the camera and of course detected motion so that's what happened here so I'll click play and of course I can hear myself talking in the background there not saying that the microphone is super great on this it's not going to pick up a whole lot uh, the iCamera 2s are much better, much wide angle, much wider of an angle on them. Uh, they do 1080, um, so they're they're high def quality, and the audio is really good on those. So, if you have an iCamera 2, this is basically the same type of setup. So hopefully that helps you. All right. Um, if you have questions, uh, just post a comment in there. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. See ya.